Hi, this video is to help you set up your cover for your substitute binder. First thing you're going to do is go to the PowerPoint that has all of the master copies in it. I gave the example as the first one, and then the second one is the colored version with a spot for you to put your name. So you're just going to highlight the dashes and you're going to type your name. So now that you've got your name in there, you can change the color of the binder cover to whatever you would like. Maybe you want your school colors or um, a favorite color that you have. So you are going to go to home. You're going to go over to the little fill icon under drawing. And if you hit the little down carrot there, you will see there are tons of options. Oops, let's go back and change it so that it's the whole. I'm going to make sure that the entire page is highlighted there. Let's go back over to the fill. And you can see that as you hover over the different colors, you can get a sample of what it's going to look like. Okay. Also, more fill colors are in here, so you can get your own um, custom color in there. These are the ones that I've used in the binder. So those are why those are there. Those are just the recent colors. So if you've done things in PowerPoint and use colors, you'll see those recent colors there. Once you've changed your color, I'm going to keep it the same. This is how you get your binder cover into OneNote. I'm going to hit File, Print, and make sure it says OneNote Desktop. Okay. You may have other printers in there, but choose OneNote. The other thing you're going to want to do is whatever slide this is, it's going to tell you down here too. I don't want to send my entire slide deck. So just slide two, and then I'm going to hit print. Okay. It may pull up OneNote automatically, or you may have to click OneNote down on your icons bar down here. And then you're going to tell it where you want it to go. Okay. And if you scroll down, it's going to show you all of your tabs. And I want it to go in the binder cover tab. So I'm going to click that, hit OK. And there it is. You can rename it as a binder cover. I don't like to have the date and the time. So if you just simply click those, hit delete and delete, it's going to delete those for you. And the same thing goes up here. You can delete, if you right click, you can delete the pages within the tab. So once you've got yours, you can go ahead and delete any examples or the fill in if you would like. 